beautiful location, the Madison Hotel, right here in one of the greatest, greatest towns in the state of New Jersey. I want Republicans, Democrats, and Independents to join us on a journey, a journey to unify the state. I want them to join us on this journey to renew and restore New Jersey. We're no longer going to speak about New Jersey in terms of exiting. We're going to speak about New Jersey in terms of entering. There's not going to be enough entrances in this state for people to move here and for businesses to come here. And this isn't a political fight between Democrats and Republicans or whatever, but this is an effort to unify us. You will not hear from these lips one criticism of any candidate running for office. We're going to produce jobs. We're going to produce jobs for the plumbers, for the electricians, for the carpenters, for the small business men and women in this state. We are going to produce thousands upon thousands of jobs just by thinking a little bit out of the box and making sure that what we do truly impacts a taxpayer by lowering taxes. That's how you do it, folks. You inspire people. You encourage people. You encourage entrepreneurship. And we bring all these industries together. And we sit as one. We don't pit the big corporation against the little guy. But we invite everybody into the same table. And let's find out what we can do together as a state. Let's find out what big corporations can do to help the little guy, the little woman, the little business. And by golly, we can't do it. You know why? First and foremost, we're Americans. We can do anything. So we've got to do what's right, say what's right, and mean what we say. Well, we're on the economy. I'll tell you what, folks. We're going to repeal the gas tax increase. That's got to be and this Republican Party is going to wake up. We're going to be a new party. We're going to be inclusive of every single person who lives in this state. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when I become your governor, no New Jersey citizen will be left behind. We need to get back to community policing. We need to tear down the separation between the people and the police that was not caused by the people and not caused by the police, but it was caused by politicians who divided the people yeah. and the police. Yeah. It will be the people of the state of New Jersey who will govern this state after I'm elected. I support term limits, period. Yeah. We have not committed what we should commit to the war on drugs. When I become governor this, of this state, there is going to be an aggressive war on drugs. <laughs> Two important steps. The first step, a young person or even an adult who is addicted to drugs, we're not going to treat that as a crime problem. We're going to treat it as a mental health problem. And instead of expecting them to walk into a police department where they're going to get a criminal record at a young age, they're going to be able to walk into a health department in their community and get help. Number two, I have a message for every drug dealer in this state. Those of you who are in the business of selling, distributing, and manufacturing drugs in the state of New Jersey, you better pack your bags before I get away. Because this is what's coming. Come hell or high work, I'm going to make sure that those dealers in this state are classified as terrorists. And that they will, they will be About our police officers, they're burdened with so many, many things. They're burdened with state mandates. They're burdened with, with politically correct policing. That will come to an end under the Rogers administration. <laughs> that when an individual in this state accuses a police officer with the intent to falsely accuse them of actions that they did not do, that individual will be prosecuted by the state of New Jersey, yes. criminally prosecuted. And that individual will have to face jail time, ladies and gentlemen, and will pay and will pay the cost of the investigation and all other expenses that the municipalities have to incur. If a person has a legitimate argument, a legitimate issue with the police, we make sure that if the officer is wrong and has violated his or her oath of office, 
I don't want them on the police department. And neither does any good cop. We need to give the power to teach back to the teachers and away from the government. We also need to respect, respect the teachers. Respect, respect our police officers. We need to respect everyone who works with us and for us. Because respect goes so far. You know, when you respect someone, you open up channels of communication that you can't imagine. So that's what we need to do. And I want young people to understand that. You have a leader here who knows what respect means. I sat across foreign naval officers who were our enemies. But I respected them, they respected me. Could you imagine? You're looking at a guy that was in charge of the a directorate in the Navy that helped help really bring down the Soviet Union with thousands of other people. And who do I marry? A former resident of the Soviet Union. <laughs> a proud American about four years ago. We are going to open up a very, very citizen-friendly pathway to get to those parents and those children of special needs the equipment and the tools and the instruments they need in order, in order to get the education they need. Now, I'm a veteran. You are? Yes, I am. 38 years, nice. Like 25 years, United States Navy. My son, where are you, Steve? United States Marines, Fort Iraq, folks. I'm proud to say that we established the first Military and Veterans Affairs Bureau on a local government level in the state of New Jersey, fully operational. We got and dug into the spirit of America and the spirit of New Jersey and Nutley, and we got doctors and chiropractors and dentists and others to step up and to help us out, and they did, and now that one vet and dozens of other vets are being serviced in the town of Nutley, their hometown. We're going to have, we have veteran service officers all over this state. And what we are going to do is have those veteran service officers, at no cost, by the way, to go to each municipality. And I want to see every municipality in this state model a VA program at the Nuggets. And I want everyone in this state, Democrats, Republicans, Independents, everyone in this state to understand. The Second Amendment is not negotiable. And if I have to, by executive order, throw out justifiable need, it will be done. Yes. I want people in this state to be able to protect themselves from terrorists. And I will share this with you as a police officer. And make no mistake about this. There are police officers, I'm sure the overwhelming majority, that would love to know that when they pull somebody over, the chances of a citizen in this state who's been trained and is, is armed will be able to stop them and help them from being become the next killed in action in the state of New Jersey. <laughs> Let's not be ashamed ever to mention God Almighty when we fight. God bless you. God bless America.